Yeah, that's ridiculous. So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? No matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. Did I just hear a cat just now? Mm, mm, meow! Hmm. Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. If you only knew, I'm reading this too. What's that? Enough! This is a classroom! Wait, she's going to jump! Suzui? Shio? For real? Come oh, on, let's go. go! Hey, stay in your seats! Do not step foot outside of this room! No way! Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui! Shio Suzui! Huh? Suzui, hey, son! Let's go look! So oh. why? She <laughs> Hey. Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Persona 5 New Game Plus. And after the traumatic event that we have just seen, I feel it's almost <laughs> inappropriate that I'm just sort of running about um, looking for little pieces of information to listen in on and stuff like that. But we've been doing that the whole game, I was going to continue it on. But obviously, uh, we're going to get a bit more story here um, regarding Arn and obviously um, especially regarding Shiho here. Um, and with that, but the main thing about this episode is, I'm sure you've seen the length of this episode, is we're finally going to get a proper um, chance to delve into the um, combat sections of the game, and I'm going to be able to spend a fair amount of time, um, like, there's still a huge amount of story in this episode, which means that, like, I think the last half an hour or so is pretty much just story, but um, until then, there's going to be a decent chance for me to talk about what sort of things we're going to be doing within our playthrough. It's going to make it, hopefully, um, you know, a, a really enjoyable playthrough and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, and we're just going to run about. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty much the, the main... Um, one of the last main um, sections before the game really opens up. The game really opens up, I believe, on the 18th. So we have today, where we uh, get more story about Arn, um, as I said before. And then uh, the next two days are introducing some minor um, confidant links and uh, preparing for more combat. I'll talk to you later. Class is still in session! Shio! What the hell's wrong with these people? We need someone to go with her. Are there any teachers around? Uh, I'm not in charge of her class, though. Well, we should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. 
I'll go! Please hurry! Shio... Why? Mon, I'm sorry. I... can't take this... anymore. Shio? Huh? Kamoshida? Rooms at once. <gasps> that guy. Hey, wasn't Mishima acting weird? We're gonna make him talk this time. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself! <laughs> Leave me alone. He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Suzui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita. Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times, too. To the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui, either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood, and hit them. So the physical punishment thing was for real. Yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been... worse than usual. He didn't... That son of a bitch! Uh... Talking about. Don't play dumb with me. That is enough. What you did was in coaching. What did you say? You, you ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about! Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from a hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. No. I can't be. God damn! This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? You shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! Why are you stopping me? But still! Oh, you're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can. <laughs> but of course you can. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. What? You can't make a decision like that. 
Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima. So you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Mishima? He told me to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! Huh? Oh, right! We have that! Huh? Have you lost your minds? I don't understand what garbage like you are thinking, but go ahead and try. All you can do is wait for your disposal, though. We can't waste any time. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? Then it's settled. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking about it. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? You're going to deal with Kamoshida? Let me in on it too. I can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does! Shiho's my... I said don't get in our way! That was harsh. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope that she doesn't torment herself over this. When it comes down to it, women don't hesitate. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already! The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. Uh-huh. Phantom thieves? Those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. So we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. And then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell's all this work? Someone make it? True. There's no point in thinking about it now. We'll show that effing Kamoshida! Let's go. They really are going to do something. They're doing something on their phone? A name... A school? Huh? Time to bust on through! What is this? Sakamaki? That voice! Sakamoto? And are you. Wh why are you here? How should I know? What's going on? Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? I see. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it, it stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. For real? 
Wait, so this is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave! No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It talked! Oh my god, it's a monster cat! Monster? You better explain what's going on! I won't leave until you do! <sighs> Looks like we gotta force her. But how are we supposed to do that? Just take her back to where we came in. That's how it worked last time, right? Oh, oh yeah! Can you lend me a hand? We can't deal with Kamoshida if we don't. What are you... We'll explain after everything's over. Hey! And just where are you touching? Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean... That's not important. You guys, seriously? Ah! <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Shut up. Ah, jeez. Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. We gotta deal with this fast. That girl's name is An Takamaki, right? Lady An. The shadows have noticed us. You better brace yourselves, got it? We're counting on you, Joker. Joker? That a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. It's a code name. What kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? I'm not down for that. And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. So, uh, why is he Joker? Because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. It's settled, then. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be... let's see... thug. Are you picking a fight with me? Yeah, I'll choose it myself! <laughs> when it comes to me, it's gotta be this mask. Honestly, I actually kinda like it. What if we named me after this? Fine. Why not Skull, then? Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! What do we do about this one's code name? How about Mona? Well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. All right. From here on out, we are Joker, Skull, and Mona. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. All right. holdups and all-out attacks? I'll teach you their practical use now. There's another use for holdups, besides simply defeating enemies. Shadows are beings born from people's hearts, so naturally they can talk, too. In other words, you can communicate with them. Get it? If you talk to them when they're cornered, they might offer money or items since they don't want to die. In fact, talking has a better chance of scoring something great, as opposed to just offing them. Well then, let's do the first step. Knock all the enemies down and do a hold-up! Oh, knock down! That was incredible, Joker! Huh? 
Well, something along those lines. Now let it be money or items. Just cough it up. Sorry! Well, wait, what? This isn't how I was planning this to go. Uh, anyway, it can't be helped if that's the case. Time for you to go to hell. <gasps> Sorry, but we're in a hurry. Shadow from earlier? Don't tell me. Did you take in the shadow's appearance and powers as a persona? Persona! You're mine! back and we're back here in Kamoshida's palace and we've just had some really really big information there um as we've discovered um that our character joker has this immense ability to be able to take the shadows um that form the uh your enemies inside these palaces and he can um utilize those shadows as his own persona after a brief negotiation <laughs> And that means that pretty much uh, the vast majority of the enemies in the game, at least certainly the day-to-day -day enemies and stuff like that, they are all available 
uh, for us to collect in some way, for us to um, take on within our persona and utilize. And so, and a big part of the game is looking at this big persona compendium. Um, we're going to show that later on when we rejoin, um, when we come back in uh, to, to the palace once more. But so we're going to have this idea of a persona compendium and we're going to be doing our best to fill that up to the max. It's one of the main things I want to do within this playthrough is maximize the persona compendium alongside obviously maximizing all of our confidant links. And the nice thing and the really nice thing I think about this game that I didn't really realize because this is my first persona game. Um, so one of the main things that I really enjoyed about this is that um, the the, uh, the story-based stuff, the, you know, your confidants talking to people in Shibuya, all of that sort of stuff, it actually dovetails really nicely with a lot of the... Um, it dovetails really quite nicely with the combat because how well you're doing in terms of your confidant ranks plays a decent part in um, some of your personas and uh, how well um, you fuse personas and things like that. And so that's a, you know, it, it, I suppose it would be a bit silly to assume that the two systems wouldn't uh, interact in some way, but the fact that they do and the fact that it's quite a significant way is really, really useful. But we'll talk a little bit more about uh, Persona Fusion at a later time. For now, I'm going to go through um, some of the main things that we're going to be doing, uh, at least in this episode. In this, ep uh, the other thing that we're largely doing is we're going to be doing trying to experience as many of the battles with the individual shadows. Now, I'm pretty sure that each shadow can be. Uh, a range of different like sort of sub battles so for example these most recent ones we've had like one jack-o-lantern one bicorn um we could hypothetically get like two mandrakes i don't think it's necessarily every you know each individual shadow has to be this sort of battle i don't think it's decided that way um but that mean i still want to essentially battle every shadow on the um in each area at least once so we're not going to be skipping too many battles and that should mean that hopefully we're going to level up at a pretty uh, a pretty even rate um so some of the things that uh, one of the main things that i wanted to say is that these shadows that we have each have their own specific affinity which isn't strictly uh, mentioned in the game but comes into play uh, especially when we're fusing Persona together and um, looking at what abilities they can take on. So certain Persona can't take on the abilities of other Persona. Um, so for example, if you have um, a second easy example, let's uh, if you have a Persona such as Jack O' Lantern, which you've already seen. Um, during this uh, part of the game. The Jack-O-Lanterns, they use Agi spells, which are essentially fire spells. Um, and so, and it turns out, this isn't necessarily always the case, uh, which makes it all the more confusing, but it so happens for um, Jack-O-Lantern that it is a persona of this sort of fire affinity. And what that means from a gameplay perspective is that a jack-o'-lantern is never going to be able to take on an ice type spell and never going to be able to absorb a bufu spell so even if i took uh, even if i had a jack-o'-lantern and i fused it with a persona that only had one only had like a bufu spell or something like that just that and i tried to fuse it with the jack-o'-lantern i could definitely fuse it but i wouldn't be able to take any of the abilities from the uh you know i couldn't wouldn't be able to take any of the ice abilities from it which is quite interesting um so uh, not technically if i was fusing t with the jack-o'-lantern it's more if i'm fusing to the jack-o'-lantern so the jack-o'-lantern was my end um it was the end persona of that fusion, it could never take on uh, an ice type ability. So, it so happens that there are uh, 12 different types, or you know, 12 different persona affinities, as there were. And we've already met a fair few as we meet this Incubus here on the screen. Incubus is um, of the form 
uh, where it largely takes on the... Um, it's largely associated with uh, debilitating status ailments. Um, so there are a bunch of status ailments. They're introduced actually not really well in the game. There's um, You probably saw a bit uh, in the last episode where Morgana is just like, oh, I'm not going to mention about the rest of the combat. And actually there's some really important combat things um, within that little section. That might also be later on in this. I might be um, misremembering. So no, just remember it talks about the negotiations, which have only just been introduced. Um, but yeah, so what I'm saying is that, you know, there are sections where the introduction to the sort of mechanics isn't necessarily well done. But yeah, so Incubus, for example, is a, you know, is looking at uh, debilitating status elements. Mandrake, for example, here, despite um, never actually learning a, an electric spell, uh, is associated with the electric type, so it can never learn wind types, um, wind type abilities, and that sort of idea. And there are 12 in total. Those 12 are curse, uh, of which we have the main idea is Arsene. Arsene is our sort of predominant curse um, user. And Arsene is actually really useful because Arsene... Uh, so curse... Uh, what's interesting about curse type sort of... Um, Persona is that they can't take on any healing abilities, they can't take on any um, bless abilities, which is the opposite of curse in this game, right. um, and they can't take on any physical attacking abilities as well, which means that actually, Arsene, if you were fusing to it or strengthening it, really actually struggles to learn a lot of abilities in that way. And you can't, you also can't put different, uh, later on we'll get in the ability to put skills onto Persona using cards. And g similarly using those cards, you can't actually put those sort of abilities onto Arsene. So Arsene is a curse. Obviously if there's curse, there's also a blast type. You have all of the, um, the main elemental types in their pairs. So you've got fire, ice, wind, electric, and nuclear psychic. Um, so you have all of those. Uh, which adds up to eight. You have as Incubus was, uh, Incubus being status ailments. Uh, you'll also have personas that are primarily based around healing magic. Um, so that's ten. You then have personas that are largely to do with physical attacks, and this also includes gun attacks as well. So you've got physical and gun, and then you have personas that can learn any ability at all. So you sort of an all-encompassing type that can take any skill on. Show me your true form. So and so there are twelve types, and just coincidentally, by the end of the game, um, you'll notice that we actually have a limited number of persona that we can actually have at any one time. Currently, our limit is six. And what's interesting is that by the end of the game, your limit will be 12. So I thought in my infinite source of crazy ideas for video games, I thought, why not try and go through every single persona in a given type, starting from the simplest one and moving up. So that means I have my Arsene, my original Arsene, which I have at the moment, and I will look to fuse that original Arsene with whatever I need to in order to get to the next um, persona that is in the cursed type, and I believe that is a succubus. So eventually I find uh, the uh, persona that I need to fuse Arsene into to get to succubus, and I try and maintain all of the curse relevant skills from Arsene to succubus. So these skills will be, um, you know, obviously your basic curse magic skills, um, we've already seen uh, that Arsene has basic curse magic skills, but also um, later on we get skills where you get to attack all enemies. You'll get um, so that's another one, and then there are lots of also passive abilities that are often uh, type relevant. So there are boosts that you can get that boost the strength of specific um, elemental types. There are boosts you can get for physical attack and all this sort of stuff. And more and more of this will be explained as we go along. But the idea is to look at the list, work out exactly which personas go into which, and then have a very specific order as we go through. So rather than um, doing what I did actually in my first playthrough, which admittedly was a bit rushed, but in my first playthrough I largely um, 
negotiated with personas, got new personas from the new area, and because they were usually higher level than my old personas, I'd keep the new ones, throw out the old ones. Maybe do a little bit of fusion here and there, but I was largely keeping to the personas that are available, just from uh, exploring the dungeons. And that's not actually a large number of the personas available in the game, so, you know, I've, I've only got like 30% of the compendium finished. The compendium being uh, partially completed is something that rolls over. You'll have noticed throughout all of this gameplay that I already know the weaknesses to most of these, to all of these Persona, and that's because from the first playthrough I remember those weaknesses. Whilst this is obviously a slight advantage in that regard, it's not that much of an advantage in the sense that I could just look up what their weaknesses were anyway. Uh, it's like, and once you know the weakness, um, the gameplay is pretty much the same every time. You'll notice that a lot of these battles have the same rhythm. That rhythm that Morgana actually spoke about um, in uh, one of his chats about um, battles, where you're constantly knocking enemies down using hitting their weaknesses, and then you either do an all-out attack or you'll negotiate with them for their persona, for the mask. Oh, sorry, for the mask, for their, an item, or for money. And items are pretty useful. Uh, you know, the items that they can drop, some of them are not that useful, some of them are, so it'll be interesting. So, currently, and so uh, hopefully that's, that gives you an idea as to what we're going to be doing. Uh, if it's not clear now, it should become much clearer later on as we continue to talk about things going forward. Um, there's even more things to talk about in terms of gameplay and stuff like that, but we have a lot, we're going to have a lot of time going, you know, dungeon crawling and doing stuff like this, so I don't want to overrun and sort of talk about everything now, at, you know, massively rushed and then sort of talk about things later on and sort of just end up needing to repeat myself. Okay. So you'll notice at the moment also um, that we could have finished by now, but I am currently grinding for um, things. Uh, there's a good reason for this. The main reason is that I don't really want to fuse my Arsene at the moment. Um, and I was silly enough to uh, get one of... I can't remember which one. I think it's Incubus. Um, because I have Incubus, it means that I... So, I'll I'll, if I go back to the start, at the start of the next time you go into the metaverse, you have to do a fusion. There is a Persona fusion tutorial, and it is, you know, a given. In some ways, you're meant to use Arsene, because there is a little cutscene whenever you, when you fuse Arsene. Um, but ultimately, right now, I have an Arsene, and I would rather, you know, if I'm going to fuse my Arsene, I have bigger plans taking him up to the next member of the curse line, as it were. So I don't want to fuse my Arsene, and so what this means is that I need to balance out this fact of I need to do a uh, Persona fusion. Right. Now, if you don't collect all of the masks in this area, you can fuse something that's pretty low level, like an Incubus, for example, um, from, you know, other low level things. But because I already have an Incubus, I can't fuse a second Incubus into the party. You can't. You can never have two of the same persona at the same time in your party. And so instead, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm grinding up to get to level seven. Because once I hit level seven, I can then fuse something unique that uh, doesn't include Arsen. And this was something that I actually struggled with in my first playthrough, where I just had to fuse Arsen because I was, you know. Start the game, you're, you're immediately like trying to pick off all the personas. So I was like, I had a bike horn and the pixie and all this sort of stuff. I think you get the pixie through the tutorial anyway, but that sort of stuff. And so I had to fuse the Arsene, which I was a little disappointed by. And I remembered that for this one, and so that's what we're doing at the moment. So it's not really too much, it's just a little bit of grinding. Um, I mean, it's a JRPG. It, it turns out later on, um, I'm pro probably needed the grinding because uh, hard difficulty in this game was actually it's pretty tough. Um, we're getting a, a fair amount of, um, you know, stuff going on. We, t we take a lot of damage, essentially, in this game, so, um, and we don't do nearly as much damage as uh, we were doing on normal, from my previous experience on normal. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's been a challenge, and maybe the extra levels have been helping. But yeah, so this is a really easy area also, and this is just a really easy area to do some early uh, grinding. So I'm currently level five. Um, I didn't actually realize that I had the next level, sort of how much, how much experience you need for it. Uh, I think I'm, a, I'm 
Was it level five or level six? I can't remember. Uh, I, might be, I think I'm actually go aiming for level six at this point, because level six is what I needed to fuse that new persona. So uh, looking at that, I think I'm just about to uh, exit and go back in and um, finally get to level six and then uh, we can progress with the story. But that just explains what I've been doing. It actually was quite nice. It gave me the time to explain everything that's going on here. And uh, with that in mind, um, I'll just leave. Uh, we're gonna probably call this, you know, stop now. Uh, there'll be a little bit of time for me to talk. Uh, later and then uh, just in a little bit uh, you know in the next section but once we get past that uh, again like I said the vast majority of the end of this episode is all heavy story based and so we'll just let the story run um, the story is great so you know why would you want me to be chatting over so there we go I get to level six and I think now I make a beeline for story which is going through the next door pretty much and uh, we actually get spotted, which means which is why the spotlight is there. But we're hey, here look. at the safe room. This is that place from earlier. What's up with this app? Just said the word Sakamoto said, and I ended up. Princess. Huh? Princess. Aren't there even more shadows here than before? Just getting this far has been a real pain in my ass. It's all because you guys provoked Kamoshida, you know. Still, he seems to be awfully on guard. Anyways, how are we supposed to steal that treasure thing? Don't be so hasty. First, we'll need to secure an infiltration brood. A what? A path to the treasure's location. But honestly... I think we'll need a little more manpower in order to accomplish this. At the very least, one more person would be nice. Hey, you say you don't have your memories and all, but somehow you still know about that kind of stuff? Do you think this thing's really got amnesia? At least you're a step above that moron. Don't call me a moron! You sure talk big, but what if it turns out you're just some stray cat in the end? That can't be. Still, why was a princess in such an odd place? Princess? I could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder. It doesn't matter now. We must take her back to King Kamashita. Who's this princess they're talking about? I should probably look into this. <sighs> and yet another question goes unanswered. Stuff like the castle and that navigation app are mysterious, <laughs> but Morgana's got them both beat. Oh, crap, sorry. What was I again? Oh, yeah, uh, Skull. This is bad. That was fast. Your friend, Lady On. She's been taken by shadows. Wait, what? We sent her home earlier. If Ladyon does indeed have the app, it could be possible. Oh no. Don't tell me it got put on hers just like mine. Damn it! We let her out for her own safety and she just came back in by herself. We've got a rush to go and rescue on uh, for having with her having stumbled into Kamashida's evil palace here. Not a great idea from her, but there we go. Um, so uh, I'm just going to take these three battles again because free experience is free experience, and these sort of these enemies aren't too strong. Um, that being said, you'll notice that uh, we have sort of our two meters decreasing the SP and the HP. Um, and the SP is actually, I think it does become a problem at the end of this battle because I assumed it would get refreshed um, for what is an upcoming boss battle. Um, 
and I don't think it did. So we might have actually uh, struggled a bit on SP there, so that's just worth keeping an eye on. Um, with regards to that, uh, the boss battle that is, that's coming up, um, I noticed, I, I, re I realised that I hadn't really spoken much about any of the boss battles that are sort of, the mini boss battles that have sort of happened so far. Specifically the one where Ryuji gets his persona, and I'm also not really going to talk about the next one, um, which is going to come up at the end, this is sort of uh, after the next sets of cutscenes. Um, and, you know, the... The reason I'm not talking about them at this point is because, as I've mentioned in the last little chat, um, the battles do seem to have this quite right. obvious flow to which we're, you know, to which we're sort of playing by, in the sense that you're always finding their weakness and then you either all out attack them or you, um, you know, you're negotiating. And the boss battles you're pretty much always all out attacking because you can't negotiate with those, you know, those guys; they just refuse to talk to you. So the all out attacks. Now, now, what's interesting is that in, on normal, this would be really simple because the all-out attacks do huge amounts of damage. On this hard, the harder difficulty, I've been finding that the all-out attacks are nowhere near killing these enemies, especially the bosses, and so they're requiring more turns. And some of the things that we're just making sure that we're doing is that we're always trying to keep Joker's health high, because if Joker dies, it's game over. And that's really, really annoying in different parts of the thing. So I just thought I'd say that before the next battle occurs. I'm not going to talk through it um, because it's, uh, you know, it's again story related. So that is it from me, and I will. I will see you on the next episode. Now then. Yes! <laughs> What's all this about? Seriously, I'm gonna call the cops! So, this is the intruder. Kamoshida? that? More importantly, what is this place? Why is the school turned into something like this? I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> Are you afraid? What is that outfit? Have you lost your mind? I do as I please here. After all, this is my castle. The world of my desires. What the? Wait, is this some red light district? What a lively slave. This isn't funny! Enough of the bullshit, Kamoshida! <laughs> the girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is like, totally unforgivable. In that case, she should be executed. <gasps> now then, how should I play with you? Shall I tear you into little pieces? Are you kidding me? This is effed up. Is that what he thinks of the girls on the volleyball team? Hey, that's... Just when I was about to start enjoying myself. What's the deal with this guy? You little... How many times are you gonna come back? I bet you just like those thieves. You came because you're pissed at me, huh? But, uh... Ah, I forget that chick's name. But it's your fault she jumped, you know. Huh? You were so reluctant to throw yourself onto me that I had her take your place. You bastard! <laughs> no! Take one more step and I'll kill her on the spot. Damn it! Just sit back and enjoy the dismantlement show. No, don't! Maybe I'll start with her clothes. 
You're such a perv! Hey, what are we gonna do? Takamaki! Is this... my punishment for what happened to Shio? That's more like it. You should have looked like this from the start. Shio... I'm so sorry. want that. You're right. Letting this piece of shit toy with me. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's like I always say, slaves should just behave and... Shut up. I've had enough of this. You piss me off, you son of a bitch! My, it's taken far too long. Uh, uh, Tell me, who is going to avenge her if you don't? Forgiving him was never the option. Such is the scream of the other you that dwells with me. I am thou, thou art I. We can finally forge a contract. I hear you, Carmen. You're right. No more holding back. There you go. Nothing can be solved by restraining yourself. Understand? Then I'll gladly lend you my strength. Not some cheap girl you can toy with, you scumbag. Bitch! You stole everything from Shiho. You destroyed her. Now it's your turn! I will rob you of everything! How dare you! Enough of your insolence! No, I've had enough of you! No one's gonna stop me now! Let's go, Carmen! How dare you deny King Kaboshida's love, you selfish lass! Insolence with your life! That dirtbag just sees women as sexual outlets! Don't make me laugh with that love bullshit! Carmen, let's give him hell! Persona! You did it! They've fallen flat! What's the matter with this? This'll end you! Persona! Take a lantern! There! They're all knocked down! That was incredible, Joker! Persona! You're mine. Nice, Joker! Right in their weak spot. Bam! Persona! That's it! Woo! Sorry! Damn it! 
I'm here, man. And more importantly, how? Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? Are you all right, Lady On? Lady On? Wait, what is this thing? Is it alive? How can it talk? And where in the world are we? J just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. How am I supposed to calm down? Huh? Why am I dressed like this? When did I... <sighs> What's with this? How can you expect me to be calm? Well, I'm stumped. A search party will be coming for us soon. There's no time to explain. We don't have a choice. Let's retreat for now. We were just getting fired up and you had to go and get in the way. <sighs> Here, give me your arm. You take the other side. Which one you want? Whichever is not carbonated. Uh, they're both actually. Then... Here you go. What about me? Huh? But uh, you're a cat. <laughs> Have you calmed down, Lady On? Um, Morgana, right? I really am talking to a cat. <sighs> this feels so strange. Oh, sorry. You're not a cat, right? It's only natural that you're confused. Demanding that you understand all of this right after what you went through is asking too much. Honestly, I still can't believe what happened. And that power... My persona... It's the will of your rebellion, Lady On. With it, you'll be able to fight in that other world. So if what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can we actually force him to confess his crimes? The volleyball team's keeping quiet about this while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Then let me help too. I want to make him pay for what happened to Shiho. He just keeps going like nothing happened, even after what he did to her. I'll never forgive him. Wait, did you just say, let me help? You mean you want to long? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Weren't you watching? I can fight too. Hey, what should we do? I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower after all. Don't worry, I'll protect her. Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Ah, oh, right, she can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning her down. Ah, uh, fine. Then it's decided. Well, I hope we get along. 
I'm going to make Kamoshida atone for what he did. Not just for Shiho's sake, but for everything he's done. I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. I doubt something as dangerous as your group could have been pulled off with orthodox methods. It wouldn't be odd if you had someone that was proficient in deceiving the eyes of others. If you're listening, then answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others. And the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Dude. You know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. The school rooftop would work. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. The train will be arriving soon. Well, we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Okay. Let's go look at my new residence for this world. coming. I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? It's a shame. Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Though, I guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine. But keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Oh, and I'm not going to take care of it. That's all on you. Was that the ruler of this place? 
He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people I just sound like a meowing cat. Seriously, I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Morgana? Huh, I was hoping I'd get to name it. Looks like the Chief likes me better than you. And to be honest, this place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take, due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature. I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Whoa. I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? I like that answer. <laughs> then it's a deal. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the magician persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. All right, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. Personas are the strengths born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is all part of our deal. Got it? I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? 